Okay, this is question 27. I've got this square based pyramid here, and it tells us that horizontal base A, B, C, D, so let's see this square here, is side length 10, as given, and the center of this line AC is this point here, M. We're told that VMA is 90 degrees, that's this right angle here, and we're told that this angle is 68 degrees. We're also given the volume of a pyramid, which is a third of the area of the base times the height. And we're talking about the perpendicular height. Now, the perpendicular height is the height which is perpendicular to this. So this is the perpendicular height here, this H, if you like. Let's remember that. And the first part of the question says, work out the volume of the pyramid. In fact, that's the only question. Work out the volume of the pyramid. Now, to keep the diagram on the same page, I'm going to do the working up here. So the volume of the pyramid, we've got to work out the area of the base. And we've got to work out the perpendicular height. So let's try those now. Let's start off with the area of the base. So area of the base. Uh, well, this is just a square. So that's quite straightforward. That's just length times breadth, or breadth times breadth, or length times length, which is 10 squared, which is 100. And that's, of course, centimeters squared. Let's now try and work out the perpendicular height. Perpendicular height. OK, now, in order to find this length here, the first thing to do is to try and work out what the length of the side AM is, okay? But we can't do that until we find out the whole length of this diagonal AC. Now, as you shall see, this is a right angle triangle. So this triangle here, a, B, this ABC triangle, is a right angle triangle. There it is. So we're going to start off with that triangle there. So we're going to say something like consider triangle ABC. And because it's a right angle, we know that we can use, to find this hypotenuse, we can use Pythagoras. So AC squared, that's this length squared, is the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that's 10 squared. Plus 10 squared. So AC squared is 10 squared 100 plus another 10 squared is 100. So AC squared is 200. And now we can square root both sides. Now, usually when you square root both sides, you do plus or minus. Plus or minus root 200. And this is an intermediate answer. So we could work this out on a calculator and get some decimal equivalent, but we don't need to. It's an intermediate answer. Leave it as square root of 200. We don't even need to worry too much about this being a third. It's not a question on thirds, and it's not a final answer. So we're okay leaving it like that. And we're actually going to ignore the negative. Ignore negative areas. Because, sorry, a negative length in this case. Okay, so in, in fact, what we're doing is saying AC is the square root of 200. Right, okay, so we've got that length. Now, we need to work out what the length of AM is. So AM is obviously half of AC. So that's obviously half the square root of 200. Again, I'm not worrying too much about what this looks like at the moment. Now, now that I've got that length here, so that's a half the square root of 200, from there to there, I can now use Sokotoa on this triangle, VMA. Yeah, on this triangle, because I've got a right angle, so Sokotoa, so looking at uh, consider triangle AMV. 